Bam, 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 bam. We do need an entrance song like that. Something cool, though. I want a little more rock. Like, bam, 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 bam. I want it to be Brock Lesnar's song. Oh, yeah, he'll be there tonight, but we're, not, we're gonna get to see it because you know you have no cable and you're poor. And because I hate wrestling. And you're poor. Yeah, and I'm poor. Like, I love wrestling. That's not true. I, not I'm about, a masculinist. I love it. I love pain. Uh, who doesn't love wrestling? Yeah. Yeah. All right, Alex, you ready? Are you focused? You with me? Stop looking at my Star Wars toys. Let's go. Give me the, yeah. give me the eye. I'm like, it's cool. Oh, I, I pressed the button back here. I don't know what I pressed. Which button did you press? <laughs> I don't know, but it went green for a sec. I couldn't resist. I pressed it and I pressed it again. Asshole, that's the power button. <laughs> okay. I was like, I couldn't resist it. <laughs> what is wrong with you? All right, we're going to start recording. All right, are you sure it's on? Yeah, it's on. I just button. checked. Thank you. <clears throat> you ready? Yep. I'm good. Okay. I'm good to go. More than often, yeah. Did we uh, spend 20 minutes dicking around? Get ready. Get set for the best movie and pop culture talk in the universe. It's the Good Brothers on Mercado Airwaves with your hosts, Alex Mercado and Mike Mercado. Happy New Year, friends. Welcome in to the Good Brothers. I'm your host, Mike Mercado. So we joined with the Good Brother himself, Alex Mercado. Alex, Happy New Year. How you doing? How's it going, Good Brother? Everything is everything, my friend. We are here at the studio getting ready to talk about what was 2017 in film. Alex, let's get right into it. Let's get into what is the worst month in film. Usually, unless you're an Oscar movie. Well, what do you feel like? I feel like the more months we get, the more releases we're getting. Yeah, there's so many movies. January is like, not as bad as it used to be, but it's still pretty it's bad. It's still pretty bad, and mm-hmm. I'm looking through the list right now as we're going to just kind of go through the, the heavy hitters and just some things that popped up. But in January, really, you only had Split, M. Night Shyamalan's uh, awesome movie. Um, to me, probably like the most underrated movie of 2017. And then you had Bye Bye Man, who was a really bad, scary movie, but was... Kind of the the it made money it made money it for what fine. it was and then the triple X part three the return of Xander Cage that nobody watched like besides split if you go to the movies in January you know what you're getting you know you're gonna get a cheap blockbuster movie and they're not the problem is they're not cheap though like Resident Evil Underworld like these are expensive movies that no one's watching Resident anymore. Evil came out in January and like I've watched every single Resident Evil it's before that I and I haven't seen it yet year. just because I have no what's the point I don't want to um, but you think kind of picked up a little bit in February. We had, take a quick look, we had Lego Batman, we had John Wick 2, we had Rings, we had Fifty Shades Darker. February really, you know, picked up the slack in in the places that... uh, I can't believe I forgot it. Probably the biggest one in February. I was going to say, I was going to correct maybe, you. Get um, out, right? Get out. Get out. Like, we get saw out, that comes one. Out at, was ver- the very end of February... That movie to this day has is in most people's top tier. Let's just go ahead and talk about now that we're in the month. Uh, Lego Batman, Get Out, things like that. Really quickly, what did you think about February in general? Uh, I went to movies a lot in February. Actually, I remember going to see all three of those in the theaters. Two of them opening weekend. Get Out, we saw I think a week after it came out because it was a little low key coming out, and then the crazy reviews came out, and everyone was like, "Oh my god, this is a perfect movie!" And the subtlety of it, and it's clever and everything, but. I don't know. What do you think? Out of those three, what was your favorite movie? Because those are tough. Those are three powerhouses in three different categories. The most fun. What? What were you going to say? I'm, I don't know. I'm thinking like this is tough. Like I liked all three for different reasons. I was going to say I, I I had the most fun in Lego Batman. Yeah, that was a lot of laughs. Though probably the, the ultimate movie experience was John Wick 2 because it was like watching one of those. It was like watching a, a 80s action it movie. It was classic Keanu Reeves 90s. Like it was just fun. Like the, it was and not like cheap fun, like good, well written, well acted out, well fought, choreographed, fun. Yeah, and I obviously the best movie in February was Get, Get Out. Out. It wasn't Get even Out. close. We went like, to the theaters opening weekend. It was just one of those we just knew you said it. You said it. There was there was hype that was at leaning into the movie, but we kind of fell into that train pretty early. We're like, oh, okay, this like, is very well, It's a great movie-going experience because the whole time you're watching, you're just trying to get the little... You're trying to understand it, and they pull a Black Mirror Twilight Zone on you, and that's what makes it even more fun. Like, I remember our, our reaction, the whole movie, is like, as you were saying, it's like, oh, no, what? Like, holy shit, really? And uh, February really just uh, solidified that 
how important it is and how cool it is to live in a time where so many different genres and are, are exactly. Are and represented. I mean, the big shout out to the horror is because you know you go two months, you have split great horror, February great horror. T- like, the, uh, you know, I'm like sorry, I mean, we're gonna notice it this year. Like, I, even like. The bad movies made money. Like horror is selling now. Cure for Wellness came out. Yep. It, it was it, February definitely kicked uh, picked up where January was really slacking. But March, March itself was really now the new start of blockbuster. That season. has to be the start. Yeah. And even February for when Deadpool came out last. I mean, ago. let's March started off with Logan. 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 We'll get to that in a second. Later on that in the middle of the month, you had Kong. Then you had the Belko experiment. I like Beauty it. and the I Beast. Like I didn't see the new one. I heard, I heard bad, but obviously he's being the Beast. So even bad being the Beast is still better than a lot of things. But look, at, I mean, you keep going. I mean, you, is had, it, is it, you saw it. Is it the same as the cartoon? Like am Beauty I good? And the Beast? Yeah, it's it's, it's literally. I feel like if I didn't see it in the theater, the then I'm yeah. good. Like yeah. I, it's okay. The it's visuals, good. yeah, it's good. Life came out. You talk about the horror genre continuing. Yep. Life uh, came out. You had again, uh, just how big March is. Ghosts in the Shell. Uh, a big flop, but Scarlett flop, Johansson yeah. in, in, in a big comic book, anime. Well, uh, that kind of starts the conversation of we're gonna have to talk about it at the end. Is was this a good movie? Was this a good movie going year? And I think it's very debatable because it depends where you kind of hold your standards at. But like you said, a lot of those movies you just named there. Well, there's one. There's two Power more Rangers. Ones. I was I want to Power save that Rangers. for that. So uh, Baby Boss. But let's talk about the movie that we have not got a chance baby. to talk. Boss Baby. Boss oh, yeah. Baby. Uh, let's talk about the movie we didn't get a chance to talk about that I think. We're never gonna see part two of a shame that it didn't make a lot of money. Power Rangers. Any of the ones of March. I, I don't think, think we're gonna get a sequel out of it. I don't yeah. think it made enough money. I don't think enough people I think, showed up. Yeah, I think like there's the the merchandise still selling. I think there's gonna make merchandise the, always sells I even without the movie. I think it's gonna be enough to get him a sequel, and the sequel has to be good. It, it, I agree. I, just I, don't I think, think it does good. But like, would you like as a Power Rangers fan? I loved it. I, loved I thought it, it was great. I loved it. Yeah, I thought it had just enough callbacks. The little end credit scene, you know. Um, Kong loved, loved Kong. Loved Kong. Uh, obviously, the winner of that month, Logan, pretty easy. He started Logan. off and kept it, but that was a, it was fun. I I went to see a lot of movies. Ghost in the Shell. I saw a little bit of it. Couldn't stick through it. I just, you know, when you, when it's something so cliche and nerdy, and then like it's a niche audience and it's bad. It's like who who's really watching this movie now? Because the Die Hard fans aren't watching it. Why should I watch it if they don't like it? And then uh, again, the horror with uh, Belko experiment. Which again, that's another one uh, that was. That was written by uh, James Gunn. Yeah, there you go. And it was good. I, I watched it. Mm-hmm. See, I like those kind of movies because they're an hour and a half. Simple story. It was fun. Like, I liked the Belco Experiment a lot, actually. I liked. I love those hour and a half horror movies because that's where it really should. That's the time frame it needs to be. Now, let me ask you this. Does anything stick out for you in April? Without without me telling your name, does anything? See, this is where we get to the, uh, the again, more blockbusters. April was, was Guardians? No, April was nothing. April was nothing. No, April Guardians. Was nothing. What's April this year? Like, I feel like no, that's May this year. Yeah, so. May this year is everything. Yeah, I guess but yeah, like, April really was. What what came out? I, as I'm just kind of going through the list, we had things like, uh, I mean, Born in China did a lot. Did some money for Disney. Ugh, I, I don't like those movies. Yeah, I, really. I mean, they're cute, but like, I can watch that on YouTube if I want to see a cute panda or like a monkey or a lion. Colossal. Haven't seen her great things. Smurfs. Terrible. Going in style. Terrible. So, um, yeah, uh, definitely. So that's what I'm saying. Like, we're already two months in, and there's probably, like, if we made a list, like, there's probably, like, two great movies, a couple fun, good ones, and then there's a lot of bad, though. So we're not doing great at the moment when it comes to the year out. Now, in May, we Best month ever. Yeah, okay. You know why April uh, sucks? You were born in April. Like, yeah, that makes total exactly sense of why April sucks for it. movies because you um, were born in April. But May, May 5th, it's a tradition now for uh, for Disney to have things come out at this time. We had Guardians of the Galaxy. Which uh, we've talked about. It's all right. I, I, You know what's funny is like, I've been looking online and, like, there's just big outcry of how underrated it was. I'm like, I don't think it was. It's just it was fine. It was just such a letdown from the last one that, like, I don't get where people are fighting for this now. Of Like, oh, no, like, it's actually really good, guys. Like, it's totally underrated. I don't think so. I thought it was Nicole and I actually mediocre. watched it. Nicole watched it for the first time. I watched it with her. Netflix, uh, right? On uh, Netflix. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. I definitely think that it got a lot of uh, crap because it was um, 
it wasn't as good as Guardians. Would you rescore it? Like, would it go down or up in your scoring, or is it right where you thought? It's right, right where, where it, it. It's right where it, it is. I don't think it. it um, I don't. I don't think it's a bad movie. I just think when you're, it's not to, as good as the last. Yeah, it's just one. not as good as. I mean, that ending good. is probably one of the best endings, and like it's funny because I love the ending. I think it's one of the best endings in yeah. the Marvel universe. It's so sad. It makes you cry. Like you got Sly up in there. It's great. The movie's fine. A little too yeah, cute. I don't, I, I don't like what to do with Drax because Drax is my favorite in the first one, and he really is just a punchline in this movie. Like he barely has any cool fight scenes or cool monologues. It's all humor. Some other stuff as we uh, as we look into later on in, in Maine. Talk about movies that didn't make a lot of money. You had things like King Arthur, The Wall. You had See, the Alien were, Covenant. And okay, well, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of garbage to talk about there. King Arthur, again, very. I think it was underrated. It's a good movie. It cost too much to make. A, a movie, a Guy Ritchie King Arthur movie, should not cost you almost two hundred million dollars. Like it just shouldn't. Like, no one's going to pay for that. You're not going to make that money back for a King Arthur swords and magic and rock music slow-mo. Well, and another one that, that came out and made that, that bomb that people thought was going to make some money was uh, Baywatch. Oh, that was so bad. I don't think people anticipated how bad it was going to be. But didn't Chips come out, like, a little bit before a, a after that? Before like, that, yeah. I mean, we should have known that these aren't working, like... I think they finally got it down with Jumanji how to do stuff like that, a throwback at the same time being a little newer. Baywatch was just bad. Like, it, it, like even The Rock's not charming in it. Like, that's what's crazy to me. It's like, I love Zac Efron, Greatest Showman, what up? Mm -hmm. um, I love The Rock, hot people, bathing suits. It's, it's tasteless. And you had the Pirates Coming of the Caribbean. Coming from me, that's bad. It, it's tasteless And you me. had the Pirates of the Caribbean movie. Which one's the last time you watched the Pirates exactly. of the Caribbean? The first, it's, second one, maybe. So like we've already gone through. This, I was this I watched the one with the octopus guy. After that guy, I don't, I can't tell you what happened to the the recent one. Ah, uh, there was also Captain Underpants. Oh, you saw that? You I liked saw that. It. I thought it was really cute. I thought it was pretty. Yeah, like, I thought it was. Really had cute. it not been that this was a great year for animated movies, it probably would have got some love at the Oscars. Yeah, I mean, it definitely to me, it's nothing special. But it's it, it was fun. Well, I, and I the year of it. Cocos and yeah, exactly. And, and we're ready right now. We're we're in June with the, the opening weekend was um, on oh, Boss Baby was uh, Captain uh, Captain Underpants. Uh, May see again. May is an interesting one because you really Alien Covenant. How but that was what a June. letdown that was. That's June. Uh, May excuse that is me. May. Yeah, we're in May yeah. still. Yeah. I'm trying to look through this list because one of these movies is bothering me. Okay, I found that it, it is in uh, June. You know, I, again, just to me, it's it's one of those moments where May just doesn't. April, May were a struggle. Yeah. Other than Guardians, it was a struggle. See, the difference between like, April really didn't take any chances. May took a lot of chances. It's just a lot of them didn't hit. Like, what, the best movie is Guardians 2? That's not great. Not in, when it comes to. Not when it comes to what you think. It's like when you have, again, all these other movies that are supposed to re. You know, Alien Covenant was supposed to relaunch this whole universe for Alien, and it's deader than ever. Mm -hmm. So, and then moving into June, Captain Underpants in the opening weekend. So, you know, you're starting off with a little bit of family, uh, a little family. Well, it's time to strike. School is out. Cap I mean, we got excited for the trailers. Yeah, I mean, if again, it if it drops on Netflix or HBO Go, I'm gonna watch it. You know, I loved Captain Underpants growing up. I loved the books. Uh, he was great. We used to get them at those, what were those things called? The the traveling book fair things, Scholastics, oh, the, whatever. Oh, the Scholastics fair, yeah. And, like, mom and dad would always give us money, or you'd get the order sheets, and then you'd get, like, two or three of those books and a couple of how to draw books, and, yeah, good, good times. And it seemed like it was in June that the studios finally started releasing things. You had Cars 3 come out the weekend of June 16th. Which did a lot better than Cars 2, so it, it, it went back up at least. Like, now we're getting some up. June 21st is the weekend that Transformers came out. I, you know me, I love the Transformers movies. Uh, again, it, if you can't get me to get on board for this last one, like Resident Evil, there's a problem. Because, you know, I love Extinction. I love the last one with Mark Wahlberg. I think Dinobots are the best things ever. Yeah, I, I like the last one. I know you hate it, but, yeah, you, I, I just, but I, you have I, no soul. So. On the weekend of June 23rd, The Big Sick. So, I, such a fun, heart-filled movie. It takes place in Chicago. Uh, I can never pronounce his name. He's the 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 Middle Eastern. I think he's. I don't know. Man. I don't want. I haven't seen that one because I'm not in a couple, so like I don't really feel the purpose to see it. But yet. like Ray Romano's in it. He plays one of the fathers. Like there's it's a, there's a lot. Oh, of, no, like, I know it's good. It's, it's really just, good. Is it sad? Is it happy? What, what kind well, of it's sad and happy. Like it's a true story. So it's his. It's his real life. Oh, it's true. It, it's his oh. life. It's it's a story about how he met his wife. Uh, 
I want the movie I want to talk about. Baby Driver, June twenty eighth. Oh yeah. I mean, to me, that that movie was the highlight of two thousand. I think it's funny because I think Blackwater. when people are starting to make their list, I think that's it surprises people how much that's still up there. Yeah. Even with uh, the monster in the movie, like it's. Yeah, it's pretty Kevin forgivable because yeah. that's how great of a movie. Like I remember us watching it; like we were all pretty excited to go see it, and just watching the whole movie. Like we're like, "Wow, this is different," and it's um, like it's so good. John Hamm is one of my he he is one of my low key favorite actors. I hope John he gets Barrett to be back. In it. Like, and I love how even the little scenes with all these guys like they might only be here for like fifteen twenty minutes. They steal the show though. JB Fox was crazy in that movie, and it was so intimidating. I but, loved it. Yeah, and then. The week uh, of June thirtieth, Despicable Me three came out. I'm not a big fan of the. Minions, I've, I've seen Me. part one, um, but again, I another them. another. The movement. banana talk makes me angry. Yeah, honestly. it's just something I'm not really yeah. into. But you know what? June definitely did deliver when it came to like a, some sleepers. And I, the, I the feel like came yeah, out. you said a lot less movies, but they were all better. Like all those movies were pretty damn good. And here we go. Let's go right into July. Wonder Woman. No, um, it, July starts off with uh, Spider Man. And we've talked a lot Wait, about it. One, when did Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman come out? That was in July? I can tell you right now. I can tell you Wonder Woman. I know people are on the Because I don't want to talk about Spider-Man. Spider-Man sucked. So. <laughs> it made me angry. Yeah. Like, I, I, we were going to fight about this forever, of how overrated Homecoming was. And the only saving grace is that we get it. They're cool, nerdy high school kids, and they're quirky and quippy and stuff. I get it. Tom Holland's awesome. I get it. Zendaya's great. I'm over it. Uh, I thought I was going to try to lead in with, because uh, I thought it was July 2nd. June 2nd, Wonder Woman. So you missed it. Yeah. You're doing a terrible job yeah. with this list, by the well, way. Well, thank you, because, you know, uh, somebody has to do it. I You're don't going get crazy. Serious. Exactly. Yeah. I've yeah. watched so many movies in the last. I've all Me and the car aren't going to do it. So. Yeah. Uh, Wonder Woman the earlier on in June. Again, just how strong June was when you start off with Wonder Woman, you end with Baby Driver. I mean, we've done our whole review of Wonder Woman, so I think people can go back and look at that. But obviously. I think Wonder Woman's the best superhero movie of the summer. Again, Spider-Man, we've talked about this, overrated to me. You love it because everyone else loved it. Stuff like that. So I think we're good to move on from those two. What else came out in July? I'm th- I feel like we're, we saw something else later. That I night. figured out why I didn't see Wonder Woman. Because the, the poster they have of her is of Diana, but you only see her nose down to her lips down. And it's her left hand. And it has her bracelet but it's almost shaded out. So it just looks like a French lady doing like a pose. Mm. And I'm like, how is that a Pretty Wonder Woman? sure you're womanizing. Look at it. Hey, come here. Look at it. Look at this. Does this look like a Wonder Woman poster? Look at it. We're oh, doing. Yeah, don't point it out. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, all right, see. Do any of those? Exactly. It, if I was to say there's a Wonder Woman poster on right, there. I verify he's yeah. he's not crazy. I, Nicole is here Nicole in the studio. Nicole still can't see it either. Nicole, here. Do you see? Do you see? Oh. That one. You, you found it? See, how long did it take you to look for it? It's going to be a hot minute. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so they didn't. I, I knew okay, I knew fine. I was going crazy, but. but like we said, we talked about it in length. So. And then we've also, I mean, we just did it right now. We're talking a little bit about uh, Spider Man Homecoming. Just again, just the, the continuation of. Uh, two more hits. Like two. I mean, yeah. We're, now we're, we're getting, like, not Guardian level super movies. We're getting pretty. You know, they, they made some money. They got some pretty good reviews of those two movies, so you can't go wrong with either. And then you had uh, Girls Trip come out on the weekend of July 21st. Loved it. Also came out the same weekend as Dunkirk. Maybe You just saw Dunkirk. Just right? saw Dunkirk. You know how much I love Saving Private Ryan. Dunkirk yeah. might be my favorite war movie because it has nothing to do with like battles. It has everything to do with survival. And yeah. like that tagline of it's survival is victory is so intense. Now, does it, is it long? I'm asking you no, questions. No, it's a whole, it's an hour and forty five minutes. Okay, so that's good. I'm good. So far, so good. I'm yeah. mm-hmm. Um Is it too quiet? Like people were saying, or is it fine? Like you don't really notice. No, you really don't notice because you're constantly moving. You're like just, it's enough going on that like being quiet a, at times doesn't it's bother It's a you. mixture of momento speed okay. mixed with like the Dark Knight's epic scaleness. Okay, and then one more. Like you know, I don't love Saving Private Ryan. I think it's a bit overrated. Okay. Would I like Dunkirk? Yeah, I, I think you would like Dunkirk. Is it like, yeah. Is because it, it, doesn't, enough? it doesn't try to do anything special. They don't make Harry Styles, <sighs> because he's a superstar, seem like he could take on the whole Nazi army. Yeah. He's a, he's just trying to make it to the next day. The same yeah. thing with the main characters. And there's a lot of uh, weird um, nuances that you really they never nobody really touches. And I think this is, uh, this is definitely going to be a moment where 
Christopher Nolan gets a best director nod. I don't think he's going to win. No, but probably. if it's he too stacked this year, that's a problem. If I was to tell you that he does win, would you be surprised? Yeah, this year I would be. It's too stacked. It's too. It did. It, it was too a little too. I don't know. I, it's too packed. I understand, but like, like the again, Phantom Thread is just about to come out. It's already getting crazy. It's one well, of the greatest movies of all time. Were, I mean, at least some people don't think. And it's about a, a freaking the guy sewing. Like, I mean, we'll talk know? about the. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna go down a rabbit hole of Oscar movies. Let's wait until uh, was, well, uh, nominations. Before we get out of the summer, I saw Detroit recently. Another one which you know we both loved. The um, which one? What am I thinking of? Think it out. Think it out loud in the podcast. Oh, my God. The war movie. Uh, the Zero war Dark, movie? Zero Dark Thirty. Zero Dark Thirty. Okay. We both love that one. Mm -hmm. This one was a bit rough. I'm not going to lie. I did not love it. John Boyega's in it. How is he in it? He's barely in it. Like, it's a little too artsy for me. Um, Yeah, I didn't love it. I wanted to love it. You know, I love those type of movies, and I just, it was, I wouldn't recommend watching it, honestly, for okay. that point of, like, I think you're. It's too long. I was gonna say okay. So uh, why? I'll be honest. About thirty minutes in the movie is a lot of artsy stuff about like oh like look at the music and this is Detroit and this is Detroit. But they don't even do it good. Interesting. The whole thing from the like the commercials pretty much do tell you what's gonna happen, and then the ending drags. Like there's like the movie should end and then there's thirty extra minutes, and you're like oh my god like are they still with this so. And, and and I'm actually still gonna go check out Detroit just because I kinda wanna see I just like she should have got her like yeah. if like if it was if it panned out the way it was supposed to, yeah. she would have got a best director not. I don't think she's gonna get it. No, not because I don't think point. it was as good as it could have been. Uh, we also had the emoji movie. I don't really want to talk about it, but I just want to <laughs> talk about the fact that we there's an emoji movie and that's where we are in life. That's what I gotta say about that. Um Yeah, and as you were talking about Detroit Oh, Nicole is telling us and that it was cute, like little why, kid cute, but that's why she's not she on this show. Her crossover and that episode, is why yep. she's not going to be here. If you would like to support Mercado Airwaves, visit us at patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves. Find us on iTunes at Mercado Airwaves. Keep up to date with the show on Facebook at Mercado Airwaves. You can follow Alex on Twitter at Mercado21Alex. Follow Mike on Twitter at mmercado2333 and on Instagram, MikeMercado2333. Mercado Airwaves is brought to you by supporters at Patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves. Starting in August, though, Alex was talking about Detroit. I want to really talk about um, Icarus really fast. We talked about it in our, uh, in our favorites. Yeah. Uh, Icarus, though, a really fun documentary if you're looking for something to, talk, uh, to watch. Well, yeah, because I remember I was watching it, and, like, I'm watching it, it looked good. And then I, I texted you because midway through the movie, it takes such a hard left. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, you got to check this out, like... You're going to like it, and then you're going to love it where it goes because it takes a very hard left turn. And it definitely does, so I highly suggest checking yeah. that out. Also, that came out at that time, one of the biggest disappointments to me of the year, Dark Tower. Oh, man. Like, just – I think that goes into, like – because you know me. I'm always pretty harsh on critics sometimes. This not, wasn't a critic thing. It was no. just a bad movie. You had all the star power. All the movies that you're being watched are all two-hour movies. And Dark Tower, which comes off, what, like a billion bucks by Stephen King? You're going to give it an hour and a half only? Like, it doesn't make sense to me. Like, this movie was doomed from the beginning. And if we find out, oh, man, like Netflix or Hulu got the show now, and then it's going to be great. I'm going to start thinking if they pull the John Carter Star Wars sort of thing where they kind of mm -hmm. tanked it a little bit at the mm -hmm. end because mm -hmm. they knew. But the fact that they wasted McConaughey. Idris Elba, like, you wasted it. Like, what a, what it was. Like, cool story, great actors, terrible movie. And then we actually also got a new uh, Annabelle movie. Which was really good. Did you see it yet? I have not seen it yet. It was I good. I hated the first one. The yeah. Little doll scare me. Everyone knows that. Chucky, except for Chucky. He's cool. Like, he's someone I'd like to hang out yeah. with. Yeah, I bet we'll you. get to Chucky. because yeah. uh, But, um, yeah, no, it was really good. It was one of those crazy things where, like, the sequel shouldn't have been, the sequel prequel shouldn't be better. And it was a lot better. So, again, horror, another hit for horror. That's all I mean, and we haven't even got to it yet. And I'm so excited to get to that. Uh, again, uh, a movie that's on the list that I just uh, I want people to watch watch with me is uh, Logan Lucky. It has Adam Driver. Kylo Ren himself is in it. Yep. It's a, very, uh, a movie that a lot of people think that is very low-key. How many shirtless scenes do we get Adam Driver for in that movie? You uh, need to write that no, down. No, no, no. The new bet shouldn't be how many do we have. The new bet should be from now on how many shirtless Adam Driver scenes do we get. I think unlimited should be the answer to the, that. The, the answer is yeah. The man crush is strong with us Jesus in that one. Christ. 
Uh, let's go ahead. Let's keep going down in August. Let's see what else we got. August kind of slows down towards the little. Yeah, uh, they they tend to take a little break before yeah. October, November, big blockbusters again. Yeah, you know, in August definitely took takes that. that it, it's weird because every once in a while, every few years, we do get that that time in between August and September where the garbage movie came out, where they hide Fantastic Four, so they have things like that. But September, at least the first uh, we, the first week and a half ish, we got to me again one of the best movies of the year. It wait, did we not get anything for August? Really? August was a really slow like really any slow. like nothing at all really. Yeah, I mean I can't remember anything, but I'm just so surprised that like. We didn't see one movie in August? We had, uh, they re-released Terminator 3D. Uh, man, that is crazy that August had really nothing going August for it. But I mean, I get it. It's like when you work out, you got to have that little cool down before you move on. Like, it, it's basically the equivalent of a cool down stage where it's coming, Thor's coming, Logan Justice Lucky, League. But nobody wants to see it in the theater. Yeah, and again, it's the end of summer. People are trying to get the last bit of outside in them. Um, Night job too. Open water. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay. Now, nah, yep. Yeah. Now nah, I remember why no one went yeah, to movies in August. There was really nothing in like, that, and, and yeah. then I mean, you got to remember too, because I feel that's why, not only with all the 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 how good the movie is, but that's why I believe it was so strong. Was this people were ready to go to the movie theaters, and to me, it's it's the movie this year that stuck with me the, the longest. Where I thought about it the most, I obsessed yeah. with it the most yeah, compared yeah. to any other movie of the year. I was obsessed with it. It made me want to read a book. Yeah. And I hate reading. I can't read. So you can imagine how, how hard it would be for me, and I want to. Um, yeah, I mean, if a movie's good enough where it makes you want to go read the book, and then you find out like weird stuff in the book, so I don't want to read it anymore, because I am not for uh, child orgy scenes. I know. Look, Isn't that people, so funny uh, how, how much they, they <laughs> strayed away from really, that? Really, really not and into that. It's really interesting how um, Mr. Uh, King has found a way to like, that's really uh, stay great. away like, from Because like, I, I was watching a video about the difference between the yeah. book and the, like, the videos we watched. Yeah, the what's the difference. Yeah, and like when I saw that, I'm like, oh, that's... I kind of wish I didn't know that. Now, I don't want to read the book, but I kind of do. But it's really long, so I don't want to read it. I was yeah. the, I'm just going to watch the movie when it comes on DVD with the... What has it got, like 12 deleted scenes it said or something? So I can't wait to watch I, all of those. I'm actually very excited to see, to see what it is. Now, did you think up. it was scary or just good? I thought it was scary. I thought there was, was a lot of scary scenes in it. I, I thought ate it was, a tub of popcorn in I, like 10 minutes. I think it was very smart, though, too. Like, I think it was a very intelligent movie. Like, I think there was a lot of stuff that made you um, think. think. And, like, not even necessarily philosophical movie yeah. and pieces together. And, you know, like, I don't love this, this generation of, like, oh, young kids and they're, again, they're quirky and they're zany and they swear. But I re- didn't make me want to go watch Stranger Things. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh my god, this is what people are talking about. This is great. And uh, not everything was great in September. Probably a, another big disappointment, The Kingsman Two. Oh, that was man. a movie where everybody, if you saw Kingsman One, it was so bad. Was... I just watched Kingsman One like two more times. That's it. Because that yeah. made me happy. Because I love Kingsman. Kingsman. The, the the first Kingsman is one of the better. It's amazing. It like, really is amazing. Like, it's a great arguably James better Bond than most. James, I was gonna say like, arguably better than most James Bond movie, even though it's like not the same type of. Like movie. I kind of wanted it to be our James Bond, and it's just now you're like, well, where do you go? Like, you know what? It's, it reminds me of Kick Ass. Okay. Where Kick Ass One was just came out, bam, hit you in the face. This is a great movie, and then you get Kick Ass Two. You're like, oh man, like you really veered off what we thought was cool and what we liked, and now what are we left with? Like out of two movies, one is good, one's bad. That's not. We wanted more from Kingsman, and I'm a little disappointed. And I don't even know if they're gonna, they'll probably make a part three. I, again, at this point, you're going to have to do a lot of goodwill back for everyone. So, Which I don't know if you're going to get that either. Yeah. I don't know. So that was rough, yeah. And September, again, uh, we had some of the big hits, and it just kind of slows down. Like September really doesn't uh, pick up again throughout the rest of the month. I, I, with the struggles of Kingsman, it kind of just teetered off. We're talking about a big difference of two weeks between September 8th and up to that point when it came out. And really yeah. nothing. And again, I think that's why it dominated on the box office. I mean, Mother came out. and that Mother. Movie, it was okay. Like, Mother was okay. It was okay. Like, the the, the, the whole allegory of it literally is what it says. It's going like to be it. true. It's I like okay. it. It's okay. I, see, I like that kind of stuff because it's not, it's not simple, but it is simple. Yeah, to where, like, it's okay. There's no hidden meaning. Like, it's the Bible. Like, here yeah. it is. Like, yeah, essentially, God, yeah. God. Yeah. Mother Nature, yeah. crazy baby killing. Like, I mean, it's okay. I don't think it's the worst movie ever. I don't think. It's I don't the, think it's. I the, feel like people are trying to put it at like, oh, it's either greatest movie ever, worst movie ever. I'm like, it's fine. It should have been a way better movie it's than fine. it was. I think it's better than worse. I would recommend it. Uh, 
I think it's better than it's not. Like, it's not bad. I think it's more good than bad. I don't think it's, again, I, I don't get where the scale of, oh, my God, it's either the best movie ever or the worst movie ever. Like, it's, it was good. It was fine. Well, yeah, Alex, September, again, had some big hits in it, but I think a lot of people thought that the, the, the month that was really going to kick off, that was really going to captivate the audience was uh, October. I mean, October leads off with Blade Runner 2049. And I, I mean, we don't really have to get too much into it for people. It's it's a long movie. Um, Problem I, with Blade Runner is again back to my point. You can't spend that much money on a movie that the original wasn't popular when it first came out. It's like what did it take like thirty years to get where it is now? Yeah. And like I feel like that's the problem is you go into it like you're like, I don't like the way they went into it because I don't like the way they're kind of like well. You just don't get it, or it's gonna take time to develop. I'm like, that's fine, but like, that's again, like you said earlier, that's not what movies should do. Like, I shouldn't have to think that much. And uh, another, and that's my problem. Like, don't spend all this money just for like your like for ten people, basically. Like, obviously, there's more than that, but I don't like what it did. Cause now I'm gonna wait to get it on. I'll watch it on Blu-ray or something, but I'm not gonna pay money for it now. No, yeah, I, I totally agree, and I definitely want to check it out because it's going to get some love for uh, from the Academy, according oh, to. Oh yeah, it'll be a visual. That's a and another a uh, little shout out to Suicide Squad won you know that award. So it, let's it, let's it, let's call it as it, it is. It dude. is what it is. Uh, happy Death Day still continuing on the. the Do you like it? Yeah, it was good. I, it's it's not even about the twist. It's just the notion of Groundhog's, Groundhog's yeah. Day without again uh, a horror better than it was supposed to be. Like everyone thought the movies would be terrible, and it was pretty good and. It it was smart where it was placed because it really made a lot more money than it should have because there was nothing around it. Like, it really was continuing on that, you know. Like, they were smart the way they played it off, everything they did about it. So, like, that, I'm happy for that movie. And just to round out the rest of the month, you had Geostorm, uh, The Snowman, and Ooh. Boo oh, but, to a Medea Halloween. Okay, Medea is great, first of all. Uh-huh. Um, I'm upset that The Snowman wasn't good. Because it looks yeah, so I good know, in the previews. Know, yeah, and you got I Magneto. Know. You're I like, know. oh, my God. And then you see those, like, not bad reviews, terrible reviews. You're like, yeah. oh, man, really? What a letdown that was. And, uh, yeah, that, and that's pretty much October itself. You got a lot of B-movies, scary movies that came out, a lot of low-budget stuff. Do not call Medea a B-movie. or Like, Medea's mainstream, bro. That movie made bank, didn't it? Uh, I pr- I'm pretty sure. Medea always makes bank. So why don't we get into November? And November kind of kicked off with the big one, A Bad Mom's Christmas. Some, uh, did, you, uh, did you like it as good as the first one or not? I actually didn't see it. I haven't seen it yet. I'm really, I really want to see it because I really enjoy it. It's fine. It's not one. as good as the first one because I think the first one was very special. Mm. I love Bad Moms. Like, came on randomly when I was eating in the kitchen, and then I, I had to sit there because it yeah, was hilarious. It's really funny. It's I really love funny. all three of the women. Yeah, no, that, that was a happy surprise. But I don't. the second one was definitely – it went down a little bit. Not enough where I'm like, oh my god, they ruined it because it's again, it's bad moms. They made their money. It was fine. Yeah, and check it out if you want a comedy. But uh, you know, continue on the very next week. It was uh, Thor Ragnarok, Lady Bird, just uh, uh, it's big. It's I mean, big. obviously, Lady One, Bird stuff. Uh, we'll get more well, into when we do the Oscars. A heavy stuff. hitter for Black uh, Black Busters and a heavy hitter for the Oscars coming up, and they yeah. came out at the same time. Well, obviously, we're going to avoid most of these Oscar movies till we do the Oscar show in a month or so when the Academies are coming out, but. Thor, great, funny. And it Lady was a very Bird, weird year uh, tone wise to me. I feel like, like I feel like if it wasn't a horror or a comedy, you weren't gonna be up there. Yeah. Like I don't know, it was very weird tone, but it worked. Speaking of comedy, at one point, Daddy's Home Two had a lot of hype and a lot of hopes, and I don't know whether or not it lived up to it. Again, I think it's like Bad Moms, where like Part One was great and Part Two was fine, good enough. Where if they wanted to make a Part Three, you could. Uh, a movie that some people think might get some love, Wonder came out and it also came against a little movie called uh justice league justice league greatest movie ever um wonder i haven't seen it yet but like obviously when a trailer makes you so sad you're like damn i don't want to watch that it's gonna make <laughs> me sad also that came out one of my favorite movies of the year coco again like that's too real for me. Uh, a boy and his grandmother talking without words. No, like that's no. that's hard. Let me let me let me that just put way, it this like, way. You're gonna be bawling. I need to. His like, name is Miguel. First of all, the main character. So like every moment in the movie just hits me in so many ways. Name's Michael, by the way. Because people don't. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. We'll yeah see, such a big day. such a big difference, Alejandro. Um, it's Alex. Actually. Yeah. Okay. We've had discussion. Names yeah. don't change languages. They 
They do. No. They, they do. Don't. I work at a broker radio station. They do no. Transvolver. No, if your name yeah. is Michelangelo, it's no. Michelangelo. No, that, that's the, it. it's not true because the bears are called the Osos in Mexico. That's an animal. It's different. It's, a, it's the name of a team. It's a proper name. It doesn't matter. Anyway, Coco came out really good. I really enjoyed it. Uh, it to me, it's the, the animated movie of the it's year. It's going to win. Yeah, it's gonna it's not even close. Like, it should just. It, I it listened to the one song, like, uh, Remember, Remember Me. me. Yeah. And I'm at the gym on the freaking treadmill and i'm dying almost of tears and i'm like mm. so like yeah I, I had to stop listening to it so yeah no it, it's definitely like a I, and nicole asked me when i'm gonna see it i'm like when it comes out and i can watch it alone in my room and cry to myself yeah that's when i'm gonna watch it and then it just keeps rolling though in december to end 2017 was the shape of water the disaster oh, ad- artist to see, well again we'll talk about all those movies for oscars all of them we're not gonna ignore them I but Tanya. of all those movies, which is the one you're gonna look forward to the most? Because there's a lot. That, like you said, Greatest Showman, The Room, like, well, Disaster Artist, Off the Room. I think Shape of Water for some reason. Yeah, is I was Shape like, of Water is oh, the one man, I'm most excited about. So good. And I hear yeah. there's a sex scene with the, with the, aqua the aqua creature. Yeah. And I'm kind of interested in that. Yeah, now. I, I kind of want to see I Tanya. Kinda, I don't know. Yeah, Mark oh, Robbie. Yeah, I want to see I Tanya. The, uh, Fernandez came out. Oh, John Cena, yeah, yeah, yeah uh, and uh, Gabriel Glass, he's a little fat, a little fat. Pork you were fries. talking about it. The one I think you're really excited for, The Greatest Showman. Oh my out. God, yes, it's gonna win every Oscar. Yeah. Me and the court will probably go see it this weekend. Well, it's gonna be very. It's good. It's probably gonna win the Oscars for music because La La Land last year. Like we uh, get it. I mean, that's what it's meant for. Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. Shout out to them. For some for... reason, we've been trying to see it for two weeks, <laughs> and it was always it was sold out. And to Christmas. me, I think it's funny because it's not good enough where we're rushing out to see it, but it's. It's good enough where we want to see it still. We're still trying. Something, we'll see if we end up seeing something it. Something that know. came out and fell flat on its face, Pitch Perfect 3. Ugh. Um, what else? We have the, the post. That pe- the fact that people watch that still is beyond me. Nicole, put your hand down. You watch Harry Potter. We won't acknowledge that on this show. Uh, uh, didn't we miss Fantastic Beast or was that last year? That was last year. That was last year. Yeah. Okay, Johnny Depp being a perv came out this year. That's what it was. And. Okay. And just some other stuff to end the year. We had Phantom Thread, All the Money in the World, Molly's Game. It's crazy game. how Phantom Thread is, again, we figured it would, but I think all of us were kind of like, there's no way it's going to. Oh my God, it's the greatest. They're saying it's the greatest movie ever, everyone. Yeah. Yep. You said it's his greatest role. This is the man that, said, that did There Will Be Blood, Gangs of New York, and this I is his greatest just role. I rewatched There Will Be Blood. It's great. Right? So great. It's, I love it's, it. It's definitely like I'm as finished. good as you did. So it's good. definitely as good as you remember yeah. it being. Um, and. We're not going to really talk about it. We, we, we I, I, see, milkshake. In milkshake in my straws right here. And it goes love all that the way over yeah. here. We'll do an, uh, we'll do, he'll get his own episode eventually. Yeah. Um, it's this, this movie literally has had three episodes of it. Four episodes of it. The Last Jedi. Well, now, I mean, let's talk about it. Like, okay, right now, gun to your head, what was the best movie 2017 you? Because mine's Last Jedi. Uh, Logan. Really? Logan? Yeah. Logan is my favorite. You want mine too? I'll give you my top five right now. Logan, Baby Driver, Last Jedi, Homecoming, Wonder Woman. Okay, I, mine's pretty similar. Last Jedi is number one. Baby Driver. Then I would do Logan. Then I would do Wonder Woman. And that number five spot is kind of going to go to... A, no, it's tough. I yeah. might have to take out. I think I put Wonder Woman. If I might have to take it out, put Get Out. I'll put Get Out there because yeah. I, I got Homecoming's garbage and the fact that you I have might it take, above Wonder Woman. I, is might take, me. I might take Homecoming out. I might put Wonder Woman four and Get Out five. I don't know, dude. It seems like you just hate women at this point. You couldn't find Wonder Woman earlier. She's getting kicked out that of the list. That poster was bad. That was a bad just poster. Saying, dude. Alex, what did you think about 2017? It was a bit of a letdown. Yeah, not as bad so? as last year. I think last year was a big letdown. But when like movies like Transformers don't even get me in there anymore. Yeah. That's not good. How about 2018, though? Are you excited about that? I don't want to get excited because I obviously it should be great, but I don't want to, like, same as this year where it's like, it was fine. I don't want these movies to be fine anymore. I want good quality but, movies. Blockbuster wise, what do we have? I mean, not to get too deep into it, but Deadpool we have 2. Deadpool I mean, again, 2. this will be next week's episode yeah. when we go over what's coming out. Yeah, but like, just, just off the top of the Deadpool dome, 2, Kingdom, like two, two X Men movies, Avengers. Uh, Black Panther, uh, Star Wars. Black Panther's coming up really fast, so I'm pretty pumped I about can't that now. That. Oh, uh, really fast. We were talking about this at, uh, at your parents' house. Um, what do you think? I think Avengers pre-orders come out the week after Black Panther releases. See, that's weird. Like, I mean, but what, what's the question? Like, yeah. When, when do you believe? Like, when do when do you think they finally start letting the floodgates open of Infinity War? Because they're still kind of behind the Black Panther 
promotional training. You got to remember, like, the, only Star Wars really does that kind of like big push to order those tickets early. True. Because, like, the, the, can you really name a superhero movie that we had to get tickets like months ahead of time? No. Like, can you think of that, Nicole? Did we ever have to do that? No, they don't. Off the top of your head, like, you can get those tickets. Maybe the last Avengers, all Age of Age Ultron. Of Ultron. That was years ago. Age of Ultron. Were we dating? You weren't even. Yeah, yeah you weren't. No. No, no. Civil War. Civil War. Yeah. It was Civil War because but of the Spider-Man like, trailer. So, so like six weeks, a month. That's not. I think mm. you give yourself a month. I don't think this is Star Wars where you have to get four months ahead of time. Because it's just that's Star Wars. That's just the way it is. Like, I don't think like no matter a good or bad movie. I think you'll be able to get tickets pretty pretty close to the date. Now, I will say this, though. As almost every year when we say maybe the blockbusters didn't live up as much to it, the movies that are, that are like, critically favorites and everything like that are, are pretty much living up to that and, hype. And the indie movies were great this yeah. year. It's yeah. just the blockbusters. I think maybe it's because we put too much pressure on these blockbusters. And we watch all of them. And we do watch all of them, and, like, it's what everyone's talking about. Like, again, like, Baywatch. We did, like, we everyone's did talking Kong. about it. Oh, I loved Kong. I loved Power Rangers. That's you know? what I'm saying. Like, like I was... just looking back and like, there's so many I enjoyed. Were they great? Probably not. But like, I enjoyed Kong my time amazing. there. He I should. Guess. He should win an Oscar. Uh, yeah. And and... Forget, hey, you totally forgot Apes too. War of the Planet of the Apes. Like speaking of, I, I just thought about Oscar for playing a monkey, and then I'm like, wait, Andy Serkis. Now, and that's interesting too. If we miss anything, because oh, you know I what? know we did. I you won. know what? Actually, I'm gonna have to put that in my top five. That that one would be over Wonder Woman and Get Out. I'll be honest with you. That um, goes over Logan. War. Too, actually. My problem with War of the Planet of the Apes is it it had to leave li- live up to Dawn, and it did, and it didn't. It, it didn't. Did. It, it totally didn't. Did. It. Uh, I called it's almost every movie. moment of that movie because it was so predictable. Like at no point did they do something different. Like Dawn of the Planet of the Apes and Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Took risk and chances. War pretty much did what war was going to do. So I don't think you understood it. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. Oh, They're the, monkeys all who I have done. Now can uh, Matt Reeves just make my Batman movie? No, nah, I don't want to talk about that. That's all I want. I want to talk about that right that's now. That's all I we, want. We, went a whole, we could have gone on the whole show not talking about the future of the DCEU. But you love Justice League and Donna Justice. I do love it. And that's why I don't get why people don't. Like, people, it's not... My problem. It's everyone else has a problem. Oh, that's what it is. No, it's Alex, not me. You're the problem. It's not that I love the movies. That people aren't loving them enough, like they should. That's my, the biggest problem. My big problem is that you have a microphone and people have to listen to your nonsense. And you your gave it to me. Screen. That's fair enough. And Alex, least, you have I'm any equal to women? You have any final thoughts about 2017? I'm sick of you. I, I I'm already sick of you in the in the new year. Yeah, I want to eat this pizza. Um, yeah, yeah, it was fun. Fun. I think fun. Lower your expectations, people. These are movies. Try to stay away from reviews like my brother here who lets it to judge him. While you listen to a review show. Now, see, this is more of an opinion <laughs> show. Is that There's what it is? Difference. Okay. This is the best of show. It's a 2017 recap show, which is different. Boom. Nobody That's can, why she's in charge. Nobody can hear her, though. So <laughs> that was actually my <laughs> idea, We can edit that yeah, out, right? we can just we can edit that out. Put it to your voice. Oh, uh, uh, no, it was good. Just uh, have your own opinions. Have fun. If you like something, like it. If you don't like it, obviously Transformer sucks. Yeah. That's sad, but it hopefully Bumblebee's is. good. Um. Yeah, can't. I think this year will be better. I think it's only gonna. They're starting to figure out what's gonna make the blockbusters, the indie films. I think horror is gonna suffer a little this year. Probably, I think so too. I think after such a big year, like yeah. the last two years, because the year before that, with all the, the get out lights out. Yeah. yeah. I think it's sorry. It's probably, um, it's probably gonna start suffering a little Don't bit. Don't breathe. But um, obviously, comic movies are gonna be great. Aquaman, all that stuff. Again, we'll talk about it next week when we go through. So yeah, next week's gonna be a fun episode out. too. Yeah, very excited for next week. But um, yeah, because reviews, I feel like reviews do this weird thing where it's like you focus on neg- negatives, obviously, because that's what sticks to your mind. But like previewing is so exciting because it's like Christmas presents. You don't know, as far as we know, 2018 is gonna be the greatest movies in in all history because we don't know yet. We don't know. We exactly. have the the potential of Han Solo being the greatest Star Wars movie. Is oh, there I because because we haven't seen it yet? The Avengers being the greatest superhero movie can happen because we haven't seen it yet. So I'm excited to for the Good Brothers to you know review and and preview 2018. Nicole, what did you what did you think 2017? Yay, nay? How was it of uh, a year in film? Give us a thumbs. Give us a thumbs oh. up or down. Um, how about you get close to the microphone, Nicole? Wow, that was really fucking. That hurt. was really <laughs> rude. <laughs> Uh, probably, I mean, I was kind of in the middle because some of the movies that I loved, I loved so much. Coco was one of my favorites. Coco was probably one of my favorite movies ever. Like, I thought it was amazing. And Baby Driver is my absolute favorite movie of the universe. But that's because I'm obsessed with Usual Suspects, and it had a very Usual Suspects vibe, not just because of Kevin Spacey, but also, like, other... You support Kevin Spacey? I think she's... That's not cool. Anyways... (laughs) 
But yeah, so mm. I think it's half and half. But I'm excited about 2018 because I'm super excited for Black Panther. Oh yeah. Yes, there you go. That's the way you ended. Good brother. Uh, I'm glad you survived your New Year's Eve. Barely. I hope. Yeah, barely. I hope each and every one of you enjoyed it. Family, friends, by yourself, watching football, watching Ryan Seacrest make an ass out of himself. Whatever you were doing, hopefully you enjoyed Wait, your what New Ryan Year's Seacrest Eve. Do? I don't know. I just assumed he did. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I don't yeah, think he did anything. I, I, he's just. You'll fill me in. You'll yeah, fill yeah. Me in. I'll fill you in. Thank you guys so much. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Just us chit-chatting here, ending the holiday season, talking about 2017 in film. Next week's episode, we're really going to kick off making sure we lead you guys into 2018. Make sure you guys use your hard-earned money to watch really good films. Next week, Alex, I actually want to run through, uh, run by with you. Nicole and I are going to start doing Movie Pass. So I want to yeah, talk to you about that I next week, and we can too. start uh, start just discussing and when I start using it, yeah, how we we'll, like we'll it. Put, I'll put it on the company credit card. Yeah, I, I, that's just my credit card. Exactly. Yeah. You, uh, the company will pay for my movie pass. Good, brother. You got any last words for the people? Nope. That's about it. When it down, work out. For Alex Mercado, I'm Mike Mercado. And for Nicole Mancha making a uh, guest Ooh. appearance here. Boo that lady one more time. Boo. Ooh. <laughs> thank you for thank you for joining us uh, for joining us on the Go Brothers on Mercado Airwaves. We'll see you guys to start up 2018. Take it easy. Thanks for joining us here on the Good Brothers here on Mercado Airwaves. Mercado Airwaves is brought to you by supporters at patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves. If you would like to support Mercado Airwaves, visit us at patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves. Find us on iTunes at Mercado Airwaves. Keep up to date with the show on Facebook at Mercado Airwaves. You can follow Alex on Twitter at Mercado21Alex. Follow Mike on Twitter at mmercado2333 and on Instagram, MikeMercado2333. 